In this video, I'm going to show you how to paste textures inside of layer masks. And this works well when you're trying to superimpose things on top of different types of textures. And it works well with type, with objects, with other photographs. So let's see how this works. I'm going to grab my type tool by hitting T on my keyboard. And I'm just going to type out some text here. And I'll use Command T for free transform so that I can make this text bigger. And you want some nice chunky text. I think this will work well for now. And if we slide over to our layers panel, we can see our type layer here. We're gonna add a layer mask to that type layer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this texture from the background and paste it inside of the layer mask. So I'm gonna click on that background layer and I'm going to select everything on that layer by Command A, which is select all. And then I'm going to copy Command C on your keyboard. And the trick here is to paste this texture inside of the layer mask. Because if I were to hit Command V, which is paste, you can see here in my layers panel, it just simply pastes that texture. But we don't want to do that. So I'm going to take that layer and I'm going to trash it. And I'm going to option click. That's the key. You need to option click on the layer mask itself and then paste. So now I'm going to hit Command V on my keyboard and it pastes the texture inside of the layer mask. And we can see that here in our layers panel. So that when we click on the thumbnail, you can see that it's picking up the luminous values from that mask, the black and white values from that mask and shining it through the text here. Now if it looks a little washed out for you, you can run adjustments on that mask. So once again, I'm going to click on that layer mask and then I'm going to go up to image adjustments and we could run levels, curves, brightness and contrast. In this case, I'm going to do levels and I'm just going to increase the contrast on that mask. And you can see that it's sort of sharpening up that texture, eliminating a lot of the grayscale values in between. So it's more black and white. And you can see that here reflected in the layers panel. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK to that. And the nice thing about this is that it's all non-destructive. So if I grab my type tool, I can still edit the text. And if I move over to my layers panel, I can unlink the text from the texture. And with my move tool, I'm going to hit uh, V on my keyboard to grab my move tool. You see, I can either move the texture around or I can grab the text itself and move that around and leave the text, the, uh, texture stationary. Now I'm also going to slide over to Illustrator because I want you to see that I can copy and paste vector images also into Photoshop and you could copy and paste it as pixels or smart objects. Let's just go ahead and do smart objects because we like that. I'm going to go ahead and say OK and I'm going to rescale this and I'll just sort of move this into place and I'll hit return on my keyboard to confirm that. Because what I want to show you is that yes, it works for text, but we can also add a layer mask to this uh, vector smart object and reapply those same settings. Or a shortcut would be to hold down your option key and just click on the layer mask that's applied to the text layer and just drag it up to the vector smart object layer and that's just going to create a copy of that same layer mask and you can see out here in the image area that it's picking up the same mask that we used on the text layer and that's it so you can have a lot of fun copying and pasting textures into layer masks don't feel like you always have to use the airbrush just to hide and reveal images use different textures and play around with it well, that's all I got for today. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.